It's Thursday. Thursday, folks. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc., the Cacophony Edition. Uh, the Urbanites have got a, a rescue mission they'll be performing today, although they don't know what, they don't know where, they don't know how, they don't know who, uh, because screw them. I keep them in the dark. Uh, remember, folks, Murder Hobo Inc. is for mature audiences only, so if you don't like it, uh, change the channel. Uh, that's fine. We don't want to offend you, uh, but we don't want to hear your bitching either. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy cool stuff like a shirt or a bath mat or a, a bidet cover, uh, something like that, uh, the link's down there. If you want to shoot the shit in Discord with us, link is down there. Most importantly, if you want to join us on the talk show or the one shot this Saturday, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. Let us know this Saturday. Carol's running it. It's going to be third level. Uh, and I think head wound Larry's going to be there. So, nice. you know, that's always a, that's always a huge draw. Cause he's everybody resurrected. Will... Yes. <laughs> he's live. Uh, folks, uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors, uh, pirate dog dice for giving me big red, the dice that'll kill you. And of course, uh, if your game stinks, try Adventure Sense through oddfishgames.com. Also, uh, on the 8th of November, just a few weeks away at 3 p.m. this time, uh, they're going to do another How to RPG with Your Cat. Tickets are free. You just have to sign up. Uh, HTTPS colon slash slash oddfishgames.ticketleap.com. We'll throw that on our Twitter account. Check it out. Uh, it's, a, it's a good time. So go ahead and jump on that. It's free. Uh, you know, and uh, that week in the NFL probably sucks. Uh, let's get right to our cast and then get to the game. We will start with the thorn between two roses this time. David, tell nice. us you and your character. <laughs> Hi, I'm David. Uh, I am uh, a regular here on Cacophony, a Thursday episode. And Tuesday nights, I can be found on BTR, usually. So depending if somebody unseats me for the panel that night. Uh, I will be playing Zadar. Uh, he is the changeling, arcane trickster, non-binary, gender fluid. So, yeah, he's a lot of fun. Cool beans, uh, youngest rose of the show and lover of circus peanuts. Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, Caitlin, Caitlin, tell us about yourself and about your character. Apparently, my uh, description is love circus peanuts, <laughs> <laughs> followed by has red hair. <laughs> the third bullet is I love wine, and that's my dating profile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing Daphne, um, the usual for this game, and it is my tiefling paladin, and she too loves circus peanuts, but with the side of children blood. Got to dip it in some. Why not? You know, that's a sauce. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sauce. It's the dipping sauce. <laughs> it is. <laughs> well, this must be why you said mature audiences only. Yes, this is why it's. This mature is exactly audience. why. It's the tiefling McDonald's. <laughs> Our uh, other rose petal, normally behind the camera tonight, in front and behind the camera, uh, my wife Carrie. Carrie, tell us about you and your character. Well, I might come back next week if I don't have cat scratch fever from trying to get a stray cat out of the yard. <laughs> oh God! Um, I will get hit. But I will be looking for a new wife slash hey. temp. <laughs> Ted, yeah, all of a sudden I got that damn song stuck I in my head. I will rescue it before winter time. <laughs> Uh, I will be playing uh, Camille, a wizard necromancer who likes coffee and cheese. Coffee wow. charters. Still need uh, to like, doodle that up or something. At least it's not circus peanuts. Just uh. like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be circus peanuts on the outside. I'm like a coffee cup in the, in the middle with like some steam coming out. And then in the background, there's like a crazy cat lady and like some children. That's all right. How about put the circus peanut like a garnish on the side of the coffee mug. There you go. Just cut it a little bit and just say, yeah, when you like, like on. uh, folks, if you didn't see the warm up, uh, they are all at their adventures bungalow where they reside and a pounding of the door is heard. But before they can get there, Hortense, the drow second in command of the adventurers guild, 
uh, abruptly enters and she is steaming because Drow hates sunlight and it is almost high noon. Uh, she comes in and reports that you guys are supposed to get down to the docks. There is a huge problem. Noting that the, they sent the Drow out in sunlight, you can pretty much guess that it is going to be a huge issue. Uh, now, the docks are nowhere near the Flying J, so I don't think you guys are going to have time to get God coffee. <laughs> Fine. Are we headed down there, or are we just going to wreck the scenario? Uh, uh, yeah, Zadar has changed uh, his form, and uh, he's going to glamour the, the armor to look like a silken island print shirt uh, with like a, and also like a members only, only style jacket, leather jacket. Wow. So you're going to be an 80s asshole? <laughs> Tom Selleck. <laughs> he's going to oh, be mad. Oh my Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys get the lock and uh, you spot Peter Moran. Uh, surrounded again, this time by a lot more people than normal. Keep in mind, foreign diplomats are coming into the city for a trade negotiation conference. Uh, the city's been buzzing about it for a couple of days. The harbor is just stacked with foreign vessels. There are a lot of people moving in and out. Uh, ordinarily, you would have to wait for PETA, but he sees you and waves you forward immediately, uh, much to the chagrin of the people needing his attention. Uh, he says that Fauntleroy has offered your services to be compensated fairly, of course, uh, to resolve an issue. Uh, one of the dignitary boats has a problem uh, and they have come seeking assistance uh and that assistance is gonna be you uh as he extends his hand and points you look over and he says it's the telosian barbarians oh, uh, Lord. everybody roll a d20 oh no aren't those the assholes we went back in time and faced nope Crap. Seven. Those, are, those are prehistoric bitches Lucky daphne three. what was it a lucky three. Uh, Zadar. Just a straight up 20? Yep. Uh, nine. Uh, none of you have ever dealt with these guys. Uh, they have face paint and they are fur clad barbarians. They are rather large and fierce looking. Uh, he warns you, <clears throat> excuse me, that they are e easily agitated and quite nervous from being in a foreign city that they are not raiding and suggests you use great care in dealing with them. Who wants to walk over first? Uh, what's everybody's charisma? Uh, <laughs> I know I don't have any. I guess Tom Selleck will <laughs> walk over first. I have picked the wrong form. <laughs> yes, you have. Daphne and Camille, are you headed in behind Zadar? Yes. Yeah, I'll be like right directly behind him, like uncomfortably behind. Okay. Uh, She's like hanging over my shoulder. <laughs> She's Higgins. Uh, the Telosian people often decorate their faces and bodies in colorful chalky paste today is no different these garish colors are meant to unnerve opponents and give the barbarians an initial edge in battle uh it is unclear why they would be wearing their makeup for a diplomatic mission but everybody roll a dc uh, uh what should i make it uh, let's just do intimidation oh, okay. you guys are going to be the ones that are in being intimidated. Really? Uh, <coughs> and I met 20 to 24. <laughs> and Daphne? 21. Uh, Camille, you're a little bit unnerved by him. Oh, Daphne, and, uh, Daphne and Zadar uh, do not seem to be having a problem with them. Uh, as you walk over, uh, a buxom female dressed in fur and war paint. Uh, she has rubbed a darker substance around her eyes, giving her an appearance of a raccoon, including a hat 
from a dead raccoon. The beady little <laughs> eyes stare right at you. Uh, she looks at you, and you notice that she is exceptionally attractive. Uh, well, this she, might be a good form for you, then. She looks at you, <laughs> too, Camille. Helper? She's looking at me? Yes. Uh, yes, help, help. <laughs> uh, Talana looks at Daphne. Friend? Lover? We aren't playing password. <laughs> <laughs> Lover. Wink, yes. <laughs> Give me a persuasion check. Not very persuasive. I'll <laughs> put it that way. Looks at Zadar. Three. Lover? Friend. <laughs> persuasion. Okay. Um, let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Hopefully, this is good. <laughs> Okay, not bad. 23. Her retinue uh, nervously grip their spears uh, and she bows respectfully but never takes her eyes off you guys. She then begins to speak in broken common. We need help from Heroics. What's her normal language? A Talosian. Barbarian. <laughs> I I point to our badge and it's just you know, say heroes help you. Uh, help. Hempta. Lost. Hmm. Uh, Hepta is not her name, right? Uh, her name is. I thought it was Talana or something like that. Yes, it's Talana. Okay. Talana. Uh, yes. Um, uh, search for Hepta. Yes. The guard um, all very large, very nervous, constantly scanning, constantly gripping their spears. What are they wearing? Loincloths and furs. Can I go up and rub one's calf muscle? Sure. Give me give me a performance. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> oh, I got twenty. <laughs> That's not his calf you're rubbing. <laughs> <laughs> He's apparently smuggling a python in his fur. <laughs> the raccoon jumps. <laughs> you now have a new friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> Grog, Gron like, Gron like, Gron like child. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, All right. Talana, you help. Us. Yes. Yes. And, uh, says something to them. Bam, 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 bam. They all uh, beat their spears on the cobblestone, except for Camille's new friend, who <laughs> uh, totally focused on her. Uh, Talana. Motions towards the dock. Uh, the dock, not the boat. Okay. Um, now, you don't recognize there are no foreign boats currently docked. They are no. all out in the bay. Okay. Um, I, I look to Camille. Camille, do we know who or what Hepta is? She's busy. What the hell? <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. On like handy. I was trying to grab his calf. Uh, <laughs> Tammy is waxing poetically. Yeah. <laughs> Genetics. 
Uh, so, where Hepta last? At the dock. Points out in the bay. Like swimming? You come. Okay. Oh, we go to Hepta. Uh, yes. Uh, once the party agrees, you may board a small landing craft and head out into the bay where the issue will be explained further. Uh, Talana points to the boat and awaits you three to get in. Um, sure. Sure. <laughs> uh, straight up D20, as long as you don't get a one or a two, you'll be fine. Five. Seventeen. Daphne? I'm getting in. I was like, all right. <laughs> Two. <laughs> uh, oh. Wow. Your head dips in the water and the barbarians are, oh, because they are, they are fascinated with your horns. Uh, the one would have put you into the drink, uh, but the two does not. You notice looking back, uh, they are all looking at each other nervously, and then they bum rush the small boat and leap in, causing it to uh, wave and uh, shift. What the hell? Curiously. <laughs> uh, they get in. Let me make sure they get in. I think uh, <laughs> uh, they get in with the dexterity of Daphne, uh, and as they reach in, they are petrified in fear. Uh, you don't know much about Tolosi. These are not seafaring folk. They are not seafarers. <laughs> so wow. there is there is something wrong. Is my uh, friend here? Oh, yes, uh, but he is more focused on not dying in the water. Well, I was going to say, I pat his ankle <laughs> Did uh me down. Did Daphne being all wet from the top up, like, get their attention? <laughs> they are too scared to give a shit. Daphne okay. could be buck-ass naked uh, with her Don't say that, because she will. <laughs> yes, she will eventually. Uh, no, they are clearly hyper-concerned of the water. Okay. Uh, which may beg more questions than answers. Uh, Talana screams out something in her barbaric language. Uh, everybody looks around nervously and they grab the oars and they are like a handicapped oh, God. group. Okay. Uh, and they start to zigzag out, uh, receiving laughter from nearby ships. Uh, you can see at least one barbarian gingerly grab his spear and you can tell he's doing the math in his head as to whether or not he can get away with spearing uh the guy he will hold the spear uh and re-pick up the oar a few minutes later you reach the cutter uh the cutter is not a foreign vessel it is a standard merchant ship uh, it flies no flag, it bears no markings, but the uh, architectural design of it is insignificant. It looks like every other ship that's been in cacophony. Uh, as you get closer, you see regular folks, not barbarians. Uh, the mariners throw over a net. Uh, the barbarians begin to stroke rapidly and it is, uh, give me an insight check, everybody. 20. They're going to uh, climb that uh, fucker, aren't they? <laughs> seven. <laughs> oh, dear. Where'd Caitlin go? Uh-oh, um, we lost her. She might have hit leave by mistake. She, she will be back. Yeah. Um, we will continue. Uh, seven, Zadar does not know what is going on. Camille, it is clear. Uh, they are going to hit rammings. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> what was your insight check? So insightful. It's like out of this world. <laughs> um, it is. My plus insight. I was like, did I just freeze? Did everyone else freeze? Ten? Uh, you also don't really notice what's going on, but Camille says they're going to ram this ship. Uh, sure as shit. Uh, the speed and intensity of the rowing by the barbarians, the strong barbarians, 
are sending it like a rocket right at the cutter. Oh, Lord. <laughs> they collide, and everybody jumps for the net. You three uh, need to make a DC 15 versus acrobatics or get flipped out of the boat. Uh, 17. Zadar hangs on. 18. Camille hangs on. We're just rolling? Acrobatics. Okay, sorry. Uh, da, 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 da. 12. <laughs> Yes. Uh, out you go <laughs> again. Aww. Why? Uh, <laughs> you splash in. Give me a perception check while you're underwater, Daphne. Oh, Why? <laughs> this guy hate me so much. You don't see shit ten? underwater. I think I don't see anything at ten. Uh, no, you do not yeah. see anything. Uh, you do manage to scramble over towards the cutter. Each of you grabs the net and you begin the climb, Daphne soaking wet. Uh, once aboard the vessel, you notice there is a very large blood stain on the deck. Uh, a individual who looks pretty much like you guys, not a barbarian, uh, walks up, looks a little bit pissed off, and introduces himself as Captain Vessel. Uh, <laughs> he announces that he is the master of the cutter, uh, and he says it appears as though the barbarians uh, have found what they were looking for. I assume you are heroic adventurers that can help these idiots. Pin. Very We're nice. going to try. <laughs> uh, Captain Wessel uh, greets you warmly and thanks you for coming. Uh, Talana uh, uh, urges him to expedite it because she knows what the word idiot means. Uh, the other barbarians do not. Uh, they are on deck. They seem to be calming down greatly uh, because this is a fairly large uh, vehicle, so they'll be They'll be satisfied. Uh, he points out that he was on a trading mission when he was approached uh, by some of the barbarians needing quick transport down to Cacophony. Unwittingly, he took the charter and now regrets it. Uh, he will explain... Uh, his, he will give his apologies on the blood stain on the deck and point out that that was a <sighs> misunderstanding on the part of the Talosian barbarians. Some of the crew, however, seem to bristle at that opinion. What would you like to ask Captain Wessel? So what happened? The crewman in question knocked over a box containing a statue which is now at the bottom of the bay and it needs to be recovered. Oh. I suppose that's him to... Apparently their chief diplomat, Hemta, is inside. Are any of you familiar with Petrick's palace? No. <laughs> Are any of you familiar with Leoman's tiny hut? No. Yes. Okay, the magical manifestation of Leoman's tiny hut is just enhanced into Petrick's palace, a much larger um, home or abode. Mm -hmm. uh, it is normally found in a ceramic statue, uh, but unfortunately, when our crewman knocked it over, the box broke open, the statue fell out, and... I walk closer. <laughs> he points over the side. You guys can see uh, you're in about 50 feet of water and about 10 feet down is the head of a statue. Oh, that fucker's huge. It That's is very large and looks like this. Oh, oh wow. Well, that's kind of okay. nice. So you, you guys would be right about here. Okay. Uh, looking down. He has never heard of Petrick's Palace increasing with water. And uh, 
I hope it's watertight. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> uh, Talana inside? does not understand that word. So there's what? a person inside? Hempta is inside. Oh, okay, so we have to get her out before she suffocates? Mm. Or drowns. Or drowns. Usually the manif magical manifestations of these abodes mm -hmm. uh, are environmentally safe within. Mm -hmm. I, however, have never been in one of these. I have just heard rumors in my uh, width and breadths of travel. But if these barbarians don't get their diplomat back, it's not going to go well. Right. So what's well, this statue made out of? It was ceramic and about one foot high. Wow. It ain't that anymore. Can't we just break it? No. <laughs> in there, break it. No. <laughs> I don't think breaking it I don't think that's a, a good, good idea. Um, do you, uh, Captain, do you have block and tackle and... Uh, I don't know. Uh, we can that, that thing's 40, 40 feet high. There, there's no way it can fit on this ship. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. So how, when it fell over until now, how much time has passed? About an hour and a half, maybe two hours. So it grew that much in that length of time? No, it grew immediately as soon as it touched water. Okay. So, so it's not... like one of those things again, you know. You like, see a monkey? <laughs> Is that what it? No, but you know, like they a have sponge. a sponge. A sponge. Yeah, it's like a sponge, and they're like, you know, what I'm saying it like bros. You give them to kids. Wow, it sounds really bad. Oh no! I, yeah, I know what you're talking about now. So that's not, not a. That's no, the boy, biggest this... it's gonna get, right? So it yeah, hasn't gotten any bigger. So... It has not gotten any bigger. Now, in my prior dealings with mages, whom I do not much care for, uh, I've often found that there is some kind of trigger mechanism. Uh, usually on the inside, I'm told, that can go ahead and shrink it. Uh, but I've never been inside of one of these things, and these barbarians are getting kind of antsy, and if one more of my crew dies, there aren't going to be any barbarians at the trade conference. No, from what I know, know of these things, the only thing that can get us inside is whoever cast it and gives us permission to get inside. Do you have any magic keys or a knock spell? No. Hmm. hmm. I don't know what to tell you then. If you had a magic key, that'd make things easy. Mm. Well, wouldn't the barbarians know about that? You want to communicate that to these morons? Are you saying that is the captain? Yeah. Okay, I whack him <laughs> in the knee. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Spears ricochet off, especially the one whom you massaged. Like her. Strong like. Strong. I would refrain. Somebody's from... getting laid tonight. <laughs> Not with that thing. I'm only like two feet tall. Uh, so I'd refrain from insulting them if you could. They killed one of my people. He had it coming. It was an accident. So he said. Anyway. Moving on. I have well, three potions of water breathing. It should be good for an hour. If you guys can go down there and look around. I don't know. Maybe you can find an entrance. I don't know. Um, okay. Before we act on that. Uh, I am going to summon Omen uh, in the form of an octopi and drop Omen in. <laughs> sure. Well, he's handy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Omen goes in. And instruct him to, to look around. Meanwhile, back at the Hall of Justice, Aquaman is trying to listen <laughs> to his octopus. <laughs> 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 so, uh, yeah, if Omen swimming around, scoping out the statue. Does he see anything? Yes, he does. Uh, Omen will notice right about here is a doorway. Mm. Oh, okay. Bronze doorway. Bronze doorway. Wow. 
Okay. Does it have a keyhole? Yeah. Okay. Problem is, if we open that door, it'll come rushing in, probably. Yeah. So. so let's... Unless it's like, it has two parts. They can go in, and then the water can drain out, and then we can keep going in. Somebody's been watching Jules Verne. I was just thinking of SpongeBob SquarePants and like Sandy's house. And that, folks, <laughs> is the difference in age, right? There, there we go. I went with a human classic. She went with somebody who lives under the sea. <laughs> in a pineapple under the sea. In a pineapple yeah. under the sea. A squirrel that lives under the sea. You know, yeah. You know what? I got to take my Geritol and I'll be right back <laughs> to this scenario if I remember and don't pee myself. So, Omen has discovered a set of brass doors. Daphne has offered a reasonable solution. Zadar has pointed out a reasonable problem. What would you guys like to do? Well, I guess we need to find a way to get a key. Uh, if only, only you had a rogue. Yeah, with some lockpicking skills. A rogue would be useful. Yeah. Do we have one? that? Would be that would be me. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I was in here like, do we have a rogue? I don't know. Yeah, we do. <laughs> well, <should> not we... <laughs> me. <laughs> should we ask that's... the head lady if she has a key? Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Talana does not have key, so she doesn't know anything about this thing. Nope. Hmm. So you're guessing there's an antechamber or whatever, or a decompression chamber? Possibly, yeah. Uh, actually, from what I know about that thing, and I mean, it would keep water out. I mean, from what I know about, you know, like Magnificent Mansion and you know Lehman's Tiny Hut. I don't have those spells, but I know of them. Um, okay. Uh, we we should go down and probably give it a shot to see if we can get in. Well, are we going to need more than one person to go down? Well, I mean, it would be nice to have somebody to watch my back. No, I'm just I'm concerned that if we run into problems, if we all three go down, the water breathing will run out. It's good for an hour. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Ish. Ish. Or else. We all, I guess, live the good life. Rainy of the pirate can go ahead and dig you, dig your <laughs> dead right. bodies out. Exactly. All there right. we go. I kiss my boyfriend on the ankle and. Hop over uh, the it's side. not his ankle. <laughs> God damn it! It's not that long. <laughs> That's he's got a wrong woman. Wrong. Grong. Wrong woman. There you uh, go. You got a boyfriend. <laughs> they, they go over. Everybody notices that the barbarians look rather fearful that you're going to do what they think you're going to do. Uh, and you will most likely gain a great deal of respect by throwing yourself over the side of the ship. Whereas these fearsome fighters on land are scared shitless on the sea. Uh. Do each of you quaff the potion and jump over the side? Uh, yes. Yep. Yes. Uh, even underwater, you hear <laughs> the, the, uh, the, the spears thumping on the deck. Uh, as you drift down into the water, uh, you pass by the statue. Uh, if you're wearing armor, uh, you sink like a stone. Which I um, am not. Well, uh, I, you, you will I'm drift. Leather, but yeah. They will hand you a sandbag, Camille. Oh, <laughs> Uh, Daphne, of course, being an armored tiefling, drops like a stone. Uh, Can I have, like, taken my armor out? <clears throat> uh, sure, you can go in naked. I'm sure there's probably nothing in there that'll kill you. <laughs> uh, you sink right to the bottom, and you land in front of the door, right next to the octopus. Oh, that's handy. <laughs> Can I just Zid open the door? You can because Zadar and uh, Camille are still floating down at mm -hmm. lesser rates. Do you want to try and open the door? Yes. Do you happen to have a magical key? Oh, who has a magical key? Do you have the key to the city of Cacophony? Yeah, of course. We do. 
Uh, you reach for the door handle, and it turns. Nice. The key to the city of Cacophony is, is a magic, magic key. Wow. Nice. Who knew? So, so don't let Skippy Lee get a hold of it. No, <laughs> or you're going to no, have no, a no, burglar no. problem. Uh, Daphne, is do you try and open the door? Yeah. Uh, good news. Water starts flooding in. Oh, oh no. Uh, Zadar and Camille, you land in. Give me a strength check against the vortex of water that oh. Daphne... And oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. Chaos. Uh, hey, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Chaos rain. <laughs> uh, let's Chaos see. washes in. <laughs> we're, we're doing strength checks is what we're doing. Nat 20, so... 21. Not that impressive. <laughs> 12. Uh, Camille, you get sucked in with Daphne. Daphne, you're going to have to shut this door. Okay. Wait, right. if I'm getting pulled in, I feel like, aren't I still holding the door? I've never let go of it. So can Correct. I bring it in? We're in a small <laughs> antechamber with marble stairs going up to another set of doors. Water is quickly filling the antechamber. So we need to yeah. pull the door shut. Yes. yes. The you also notice Zadar is nowhere near you. Did he not come in yet? Nope. He's fighting the current. Oh. When he get sucked in? His strength was by far and away far too strong. Oh. He's a solid swimmer. Well, he can <laughs> find his key on him, so we should close it and he can open it. Do you want to risk waiting for him to unknown... Uh, circumstance or go ahead and shut him out uh camille gotcha. what do you think well you know you're not i thought the strength the check was to close the door but oh shit <laughs> no you guys weren't there yet nice what do you want to do i guess we wait we, we wait do i do i second ten nine well we still have the water breathing so. Now, you guys are fine. You don't know if you're going to flood this thing or not. Yeah. So you're going to wait for him to come in. Well, we're going to count down. If he can hear us. He cannot. Wow, we're still uh, Zadar, what are you going to do? How about Omen? Can he hear us? Uh, Yeah, Omen probably could. Dude, but... get him in here. Use your little octopi thing and, you know. <laughs> He's not here. that big. He's about that big. <laughs> so, uh, do I do I notice Omen trying to beckon me in or? Uh, D12 against me. Yeah, okay. Four. Uh, that would be a... A six. <laughs> uh, no, he's looking at the door. Uh, but you notice your friends <laughs> rushing you in. Uh, Daphne, Camille, the water is well over Daphne's head, headed up to the second set of bronze doors at the top of the stairs. <clears throat> you know, if the chamber does flood, the door will close. That's usually how hydrodynamics works. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, physics professor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, professor, how about hauling ass and getting inside? Yeah, I'm going to loop around. Uh, I'm going to do a swimmer's turn and push off and <laughs> try to dart inside the, the door. Push off what? <laughs> You've ever missed the wall for a swimmer's the turn? The it happens. What, what wall are you pushing off of? You're just sinking down. Uh, give me house. a three roll, Zidar. Give you a, what, a dexterity. D20. Okay. <clears throat> Straight D20, right? Yep. Uh, 17. Uh, you make it inside. Uh, the water is above the door. <clears throat> As Professor Physics has pointed out, the door can now be closed. Okay. All three of you have water breathing, so you're fine. Okay. Is there any airspace since it rose above the door? Is there like a pocket or anything like that? Okay. Yes, it's right to the edge of the second set of brass door or bronze doors. Oh, okay. So it stopped right about there. Okay. No, it's still rising. Oh, shit. We didn't close the door. <laughs> no, we haven't we closed the door yet. 
Zadar, Zadar. I guess we better work on it. to close yeah, the door. I, I feel like I'm still holding the door and Zadar comes in and we can close it together. Yeah. As you guys close the door, you see your familiar outside looking forlorn. The door closes. Uh, looking around, you can see that there's an air pocket above you. There's marble, beautiful marble stairs going up to another set of bronze doors. But then you notice the water level is starting to drop. Oh, at, at a pretty decent rate. Uh, less than a minute later, uh, there's just puddles on this floor. The floor is also made of marble, high-class marble. Uh, there's the staircase going up to the next level, presumably her leg, uh, mm. for lack of a better term. Uh, okay. I'm going to uh, resummon. Right here, so you're going up. <laughs> I'm going to dismiss Omen <laughs> so she, so he doesn't feel forlorn. <laughs> okay. Uh, you are, are, you guys are at the base of the stairs. What would you like to do? I guess um, we start going up. Start going up the stairs. Uh, the water departs to places unknown, leaving behind a polished marble staircase rising to a set of bronze doors. This entry point oozes beautiful decor and an extravagant nature. Uh, the doors pull open if you want to open them. Um, sure. Maybe we should knock first. <laughs> That'd probably be prudent. Yeah. I take so, my uh, stick and knock. Uh, D12 against me, Camille. 12. Ah, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> one. <laughs> Nobody answers. Maybe one of you taller people should knock. Tiefling. <laughs> Put your power right. behind it. What? I knock. Okay, D12. Well, Nine. Five. <laughs> no answer. <laughs> well. Well, I guess. There's the charm, right? I can give it a shot. <laughs> There's not going to be an answer. Two have okay. failed already. Right, okay, so, so there's no answer. Pull in. Yeah, we, we pull open the doors. You pull open the doors, and uh, it reveals a well-lit hallway of mirrors and pedestals containing works of art. Hmm. A pair of limestone statues stand watch on either side of the doorway and appear to be possibly demonic creatures. Oh, awesome. Uh, a thick brown carpet stretches eight feet wide throughout the hall and looks like, for lack of a better term, a dirt trail. Mm. Hmm. Well, I imagine that's the direction that we have to walk into and probably best to stay on the carpet. Yeah, but if we walk by the demon statues, what's going to happen to us? You don't have much of a choice because they're right at the door. Uh oh. Yeah, we'll have to walk past them. All right. And our tax is already drowned in the swamp. No, oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to walk in first? Uh, I will. I'm short. You sure? <laughs> I've Everybody got the highest tax. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Ooh, nice roll. Ooh, 22. Not as nice as that. Uh, ugh, six. Eighteen. Eighteen ties me. Uh, the statues move. Okay, <laughs> uh, what do you want to do there, halfling? Um. How far ahead can I see? Uh, you can see about 30 feet. Uh, the hallway ends with a harsh right turn where the carpet path goes. Um, I cast invisibility on myself. Gutless. No, I'm not running away, Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ernie. <laughs> uh, Daphne, you and I tied. I will let you go first. Blink! Camille disappears. She disappears? Yep, that bitch left you hanging. I did not leave. Where Are would I go? Skip it? Oh. No, we can't skip this. 
the the two for lack of a better term gargoyles they are not gargoyles uh have activated and are moving to block your entrance do they peer uh what material do they do are they constructs hey mr six you gotta wait <laughs> okay <laughs> <clears throat> you don't know shit because you're behind the other two. Fine. <laughs> uh, Daphne, what do you want to do? Do we want to fight them? Uh, they're yeah. coming after us. If so you better. wait just a second, you'll know the answer to that because you and I tied. Oh, boy. I use darkness? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everything goes dark. Uh, I can't. I can't see shit. <laughs> hold my hand. Uh, they are going after Daphne. Do you have Devil Sight? And four. Uh, Zadar. Uh, Daphne, do you have Devil Sight or whatever? Devil sight. Sight. Oh, sight. Devil Sight. Mm -hmm. No. Damn it. Uh, okay. On Daphne. Whew, a three. I don't even need to add shit there. Mm. On star, 10 plus five is only 15. Uh, 15 misses. Uh, Zadar, you're up. Okay. Uh, do, are they just swinging wildly, or are they, are, they, are they acting like they can see through this? Can you see in the dark? I cannot see in the dark. Is and I no can't idea. see the... <laughs> it says right. creatures with dark vision can't see through this. It's and no magical. magical light can't illuminate yeah correct nope. nope nobody can see shit yay <laughs> and that's is that 30 feet radius um it is this is like area 60 15 <laughs> yeah it's plenty dark in here uh zadar what do you want to do we i can't see shit i can't see where they are or anything nope. like that so damn it uh I uh, thanks, Daphne. <laughs> I thought you just like sneak on by with my goal. Oh, yeah. This is I this is not going to be good. Yell at everybody to low crawl forward. I uh, I summon Omen, and I'm just like, try to find us out of here, man. <laughs> Uh, can Omen see in magical darkness? I don't know. Can Atresum see in magical darkness? Uh, let me check real no, quick. I'm not sure. Uh, either respect, back to the top of the order. The invisible and now blind halfling, what would you like to do? It's so invisible. It's like you never existed. I know, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So if I can't see anything, I can't cast anything on them, right? Uh, not a direct attack. You can do an area of effect. Hmm. Well, crap. <laughs> um, okay, I'll try. How's it feel to get fog clouded by your own associate there, Camille? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's what you normally do. I will. I will do shocking grasp. Uh, you're at disadvantage, so. Yep. Uh, and disadvantage one or a two means you uh, shocking Zadar or Daphne. Four. Oh, uh, odd even. Uh, odd star, you hear a crackle and the faint whiff of electrical energy real close to you. Uh, Daphne, you, are up. Uh, you and the creatures are ready to go. Can I just move forward? Sure. D12 against me. Eight. Stop rolling so high. Four. Nice, give up, nice take of the way. You hit what seems to be a wall. Guess what it is? It's one of those fucking creatures. Uh, one will go after Daphne. Uh, the other one will swing at Camille. Uh, they are fighting at disadvantage. 
uh, a two, Daphne, is my low roll. And a four is my low roll against the halflings, so I miss both times. Uh, Zadar, can a trust me see in the dark? Magic. Uh, they can only detect invisibility, so only you thing know exactly only where, where Camille, Camille is. is. <laughs> oh, man. This is awful. She almost shockingly grasped your crotch. <laughs> well, nice. I am short. Pray to Jesus. Sarah, <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? Uh, la, la. Uh, they are uh, constructs, perhaps. I don't know. I mean, it's a little bit dark to see right now. Do I do I recall what they looked like before? They look like, like gargoyles. Okay, so I imagine some kind of stone skin or whatever. Okay. Possibly. Uh, let's see. Um, the oh, thing is, I don't know if I cast it. They, I don't, I don't, I don't think gargoyles could be uh, charmed, right? Hmm. Okay. Never mind. Uh, you could always miss horribly and charm Daphne or Camille. Uh, <laughs> that would be awful. That would be awful. Wait, can Daphne drop the spell? Not now. She already went. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just gonna pull the, uh, scimitar out and, um, try to try to use my movement to try to find my way out of here. So not attack, just kind of poke. Mm -hmm. Okay. D12 against me. Okay. 10. You found something. It seems like a wall. It's not a wall. Uh, top of the order. Emil, <laughs> you're up. Yeah. Um, I guess I will try shocking grasp again at disadvantage. Oh, Lord. <laughs> 13. Uh, hit. Uh, let's see. Eight. Seven. Okay. Uh, Daphne, you're up. So are the creatures. Do keep trying to run forward. D12 against me? Uh, Eight. Eight. Reroll. <laughs> Ooh. Six. You're progressing forward now. Uh, you're still fumbling around in the dark, but there is nothing in front of you. So apparently you have twisted and turned. Uh, one is going to go after Camille again. One is going to go after four, Zadar. Uh, still in darkness, Camille. <clears throat> uh, a 20 and a 17. The 17 will hit you because it's plus five. Uh, Zadar, 19 and 14. So 19, does that hit you? Yeah, 19 hits. Uh, both of you give me DC 12 versus Constitution. And each of you take eight hit points of damage. Ten. Uh, uh, is this a con check? Or save. Con save. Okay, save. Whoo! 21. Uh, you are fine. Uh, Camille, you are starting to lock up a bit. Uh, Zadar, you're up. Okay. Um... 
All right. <laughs> I'm going to call out Daphne, drop the spell. <laughs> Top sure? of the order, Camille. Can I do anything, even though I'm locking up? Uh, yes, your movement is going to be halved. Oh, awesome. But you can you can choose to move or you can choose to attack. Uh, I'll attack still... with a 17. Uh, is that at disadvantage? Oh, shit. Eh, hey, crap, nine. Uh, no, you do not successfully hit this time. Uh, Daphne, you're up. Am I only allowed to move? Should I really get rid of this spell? You guys sure? You don't want to try to? Yes. All right, fine. I remove my darkness. Okay. Uh, they attack at the same time, so they will still be at disadvantage. Five, Daphne. Four, Zadar. So Daphne, uh, 14 and a 17, so does a 19 get you? Yeah. And Zadar... Uh, an 8 and a nat 20, I'm guessing a 13 does not get you. No, 13 does not get me. Okay, uh, Daphne, DC 12 constitution save, and you are taking uh, 5 plus 3, 8 hit points as well. Uh, I just have to make the save? I made the save. Yep, uh, so you are not slowed at all. Zadar, how much damage? 8. Uh, light comes on. You see uh, Daphne has moved forward. She has moved past Camille. You are still flanked by both stone things. Everybody can see. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. I am... Um, uh, that, that would be my action, I, I think. I don't think silent image is a bonus action. Damn it. Okay, uh, yeah, rapier, I mean, c scimitar out. I'm going to strike the nearest one uh, using flame blade. Okay. So green flame blade. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, sorry, just trying to get to the page. Okay. Uh, come on, we'll look. 14? Does a 14 hit? 14 hits. Okay, it is gonna take. Uh, it's gonna take eleven points of fire damage, and I cast the flame over to the next one. And if it hits, it'll it'll take ten damage. So roll to see if it if the so the way that the spells, uh, worded it it's not a hit. I just if I can see it it it. The flame jumps to it, so I don't know. It's your call, boss man. I, I, I guess I'm lost. Uh, green flame blade. When you strike um, the the target, uh, it, it a green flame ignites, and then that spell I can command that flame to jump from that to that. The other is still burning, but it takes it. It chooses another target, so. Is basically what Green Flame Blade does. Does it get a save? Uh, probably. Um, let me let me look real quick. I'm so sorry. Level five, folks. Um, as part of the action used to cast the spell, you must make a melee attack with a weapon um, against one creature within the spell's range. Otherwise, the spell fails on a hit the target suffers the attacks normal damage green flame leaps from the target to a different creature of your choice that you can see within five feet of it oh, that uh, will be valid okay and then the second creature takes the fire damage now since i'm fifth level the first creature also takes flame damage and that's what i rolled so so how much uh the the first one we said uh took uh set 11 points of damage and okay. the second one took 10. okay both are still alive uh camille you can now see everything what would you like to do how far away am i from them uh you are in between zadar and um 
Daphne, you were within range of the one that just got hit with the green flame. Like, meaning... Melee range. I don't know what that means. Ten You're close feet. enough to hit it. Okay. Um... So if I were to try to throw a blanket over its head, would it not be able to see anymore? Uh, it would make a grapple check. Okay. Because I have a winter blanket, I'd like to try to throw it over its head. Hit it. Hit it. Four. Uh, no, you, you, you aren't rolling at disadvantage anymore, you can see. Yeah, I, I rolled four. Very good. You threw it at his feet. God damn it. <laughs> uh, Daphne, you're up. Um, I guess I just do my regular attack sometime. Okay. Mine now. Let's see if it feels better. Uh, 23 and a 10. I'm no assuming. disadvantage. No, no. I just get to attack. Oh, okay. Gotcha. The 10 misses. Uh, the other hits. Which one are you going after? The one that's pretty banged up or the other one that's on fire? The one that's pretty banged up. All right. How much damage? He gets... What? Damn it. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, sorry. Five damage. You're going to kill it, but they tied, so they will get their attack. Uh, one's going after Camille. Uh, the other is going after Zadar. Uh, on Camille... Uh, that's a four plus five is nine on Zadar. Uh, that's a 19 plus five, 24. Uh, Zadar, DC 12 constitution and take seven plus three, 10 damage. I just rolled a 12. <laughs> uh, so you are not slowed at all. Okay. Uh, it is now your turn. Uh, the one that just tried to, or the one that just hit you has fallen. Oh, okay. Uh, I am going to attack the other one. So, okay. okay. Uh, again, scimitar attack. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, 21 to hit. Okay. Uh, let's see. That is uh, 11 points of scimitar damage and uh, uh, three points of flame damage. It falls as well. Okay. Uh, both guardians are now dust. Uh, taking a look around, you notice that in between the mirrors, there are murals of frontier grass that appear to undulate in a wind. So it's like Harry Potter pictures? Pretty much. Only it's wall murals. Okay. <laughs> so if we continue down the dirt path, where do we find ourselves? You will curve to the right. Is that what you want to do? You're probably at the butt talks region of the statue. Nice. <laughs> I confer with the party. What would you guys like to do? You only uh, have one goal. Yeah, I, I guess we followed the dirt road. <laughs> All right. Yeah. As you follow the dirt road, you reach the location I call the art gallery. Uh, with no switch lever or button or other reasonable way to shrink this statue, you move deeper into the palace following the trail. A right turn leads you to what you believe the backside of the statue would be to another hallway. This long hallway on the left is home to five three by three foot pictures in frames. Uh, the right wall holds another two, but it also holds a set of bronze doors. Uh, the hallway continues and moves into another chamber off to the right, probably the left leg of the statue. Uh, the seven pictures each show, I don't know, looks like frontier land, uh, but it moves like Harry Potter. Huh. huh. Okay. There, there are no portraits like people in, in the thing. 
Okay. No people, Cut. everybody roll uh, investigation now. Oh, okay. Six. Uh, for Zadar, uh, 22. 23. Uh, Daphne and Zadar notice some pictures. Uh, it appears to be a buffalo hunt. So there are people moving across the picture. Oh, wow. Uh, do they, uh, look like the barbarians that were on the ship? Yes, they do. Okay. Can we go up and, like, put our finger in the picture? Uh, when you put your finger into the picture, it undulates like a pool of water, but nothing happens. Oh, wow. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So there are seven pictures, a set of bronze doors, or a chamber ahead. I say we'll uh, back on the doors. Okay. We'll, we'll go for the doors. D12. <laughs> oh. All of us? Nope. Just you, oh. if you're the one whacking. I rolled another 10. Eight. No answer. Um, I, <laughs> give the handles a jiggle. <laughs> the doors open out, just like the other doors. Okay. okay. Um, uh, the, at the other side, is it illuminated? Can we see through? What do you mean? I mean, the doors open in, and there's another well, They open out. Oh, open towards out. you. Oh, okay. All right. And what do I see through the opening? Anything or are you opening the door? Should we open it? <laughs> eh, might as well. Okay. Let me try <laughs> to open it. <laughs> Give me a wisdom save. Okay. Step to the side. <laughs> uh ooh, ten. Nope, you're taking damage. Ah. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, six and an eight. You take 14 hit points of shock damage. Oh, son of a bitch. Would you like to open the door again? No, I I, I back away. I was just like, uh, okay, I'm searching my bag for my healing potion. <laughs> Tiefling, I'm down. Heal him. I'm down yeah. to one hit point. <laughs> you are one. Yeah. How are you I'm down to one? Thirty-eight hit points. You hit me for twelve, and then uh, you hit me again. I forgot what it was, but it was definitely over ten. So, uh, are you sure these those things did one d eight plus four? You hit me at one time for like twelve points of damage. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, you're reaching for your potion. Uh, ladies, do you want to try and open the door or you want to venture down the hallway? Yeah. Let's venture down the hallway. All right. Venturing down the hallway as Zadar rummages through his bag. Turning the corner here causes a drastic change of appearance in the dirt trail. Uh, the thick high carpeting resembles wild wheat growing the walls have white puffy clouds that move slowly down the walls uh in a rather random pattern and it appears as though sky is on your left and right as you <laughs> enter this chamber a fireplace underneath a strange statue leaps to life and provides a comfortable warmth about this chamber uh two logs rise up out of the wheat as if giving you some place to sit oh well that's very hospitable what's the statue when zadar like? gets here a third log will rise up what's the statue look like uh the statue looks like a frontiersman like uh like the Tolosians. oh okay Everybody roll a d12. Nine. Seven. Uh, <laughs> come on. Uh, six. Uh, Camille, you notice a outcropping of a tree at the far end of this chamber. 
uh, which kind of slopes up. Uh, Daphne, you notice uh, the clouds seem to form a dragon, mm. which is kind of cool. Zadar, you notice that a log has risen up when you entered this area. <laughs> but uh, also, Daphne, uh, you start to hear whispering wind, and everybody hears sounds of wild birds chirping softly. Mm. Mm. So I want to go up where I saw the stuff up here. Yeah. Uh, there is a faint outline of a door. Can I touch it's almost, it? It's like push it in. Huh. Okay. I'll touch it, push it in. D20? <laughs> Let me change my diet real quick. Coward. Yep. Fifteen. Uh, it is a warm touch and it almost feels like bark, even though it's not a living tree. Uh, it pushes open, revealing a short antechamber uh, with stairs going up. Marble stairs. <clears throat> so I lean back out and go, hey, guys, why don't you come down here? <laughs> Did the chunk thing. Hey, you guys. Exactly. <laughs> the birds continue to chirp. Uh, the dragon clouds have changed into something else. It's all very, very relaxing, very chill, mm -hmm. very big Lebowski ish. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Uh, you guys going up the stairs? Uh, yeah, I've swigged my potion. So, as you're going up the stairs, you can surmise that you are uh, doing this. Okay. Going, going up her lovely thigh. Nice. Uh, as you get to the second floor, uh, there is a long hallway, uh, and this hallway is different. It's bland, I think. Oh, the second level floor is made of field stone, and the walls appear to be hewn out of limestone caves. Uh, unlike the very attractive first floor, this one seems more rudimentary. Uh, the hallway extends 60 feet into a much larger chamber that has flickering light like a flame, but 30 feet ahead on the left is another bronze door mm. i'm not touching the bronze door <laughs> yeah let's just keep going to the follow the path you reach the end of the hallway and find a rectangular ish room beyond the interior resembles that of a barbarian longhouse with a large roaring fire in the center of the room a black iron cauldron sits over the fire several animal carcasses hang from the rough timbers that are made up of the ceiling and a table with culinary preparation equipment is along the back wall. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess uh, Camille, do we go forward or? I would say we go forward. Yeah. Uh, as you start to go forward, you pass underneath several of the animals. They animate. Everybody oh, no. roll initiative. Oh, rolling initiative. Oh. Rolling initiative. Three. That's for you, Kyle. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, 19. 10. 10. Uh, 19. Daphne, you are quick to react. There is a fox, a possum, and what appears to be a dog-like creature, all strung up, probably for food preparation. Oh, get him down. Yes, by all means, you should cut these things down and let them roam free. Those are <laughs> nice animals. Yeah, how do they seem to be reacting to us, I guess? Their dead eyes open up as you approach. Oh, so they are dead? Well, I mean, they're strung up from the timbers. It looks like they're getting ready to be cooked. But now they appear to be alive. Uh... <laughs> uh, 
They are somebody's food. <laughs> I know, but like, what if they do attack us? You well, pass they're, under them. They're tethered, so. What is it? A dog? A dog, a possum, and what was the third one I said? A fox. A fox. They look vicious, or they just look like, ah. Uh, they look like they've just animated. They aren't very large. I feel like I want to rescue the fox. Would you like to cut him down? Yeah, I want to cut down the fox because foxes are my favorite. Give me an attack roll. Nine. <laughs> yeah, now you can't quite reach it, and that puts you precariously close uh, with your bosom up against the fox. Uh, it's their turn with a 12. Daphne, give me a saving throw. Wisdom. <laughs> I kind of stopped for a second. I thought you were rolling dice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I muted it. That was the ice maker. No, that's okay. <laughs> Not very wisdomy. Eight. Yeah, not very wisdomy at all. Zidar, give me a wisdom save. Oh lord, oh lordy. Um, okay. Uh, Eleven. Thank you. Uh, Camille rolls a fifteen. Uh, Daphne, Zidar. Inside your head, you hear Sarah McLaughlin singing that horrific Humane Society song, Aww. and you guys are going to suffer psychic damage as the animals cry out and whimper in pain as Camille begins to laugh. Uh, you, you take nine hit points each as the wail of the animals and the Sarah McLaughlin song begin to take their toll on you mentally. You guys gotta calm down. Save uh, next up is the 10 Zadar. Uh, you want to kill these vile creatures or make a run for it? Mm, uh, sure. They're not vile. They're well, that psychic damage just put me at a severe hindrance. <laughs> um, I uh, uh, well, they're tethered. They 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 don't have. Um, they yeah, unfortunately, have... Daphne did not cut the fucking fox down yet, so they are hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, I'm gonna try to move away. So. What's your movement speed? Uh, it, it is actually. Um, uh, it's just uh, hu um, like a human uh, 30. 30? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Camille, what would you like to do? Okay, so everything's still up there. Mm -hmm. Daphne did not successfully cut any of these things down. Well, we, need, we just need to keep going. So you're going to move? <laughs> yes. Well, that song is stuck in my head now. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> the DM connects the dots. Uh, you move ahead. What's your movement speed? I have no idea. Halflings, I think, are 25. Mm. We'll call it 25. It's on there somewhere. Uh, new round. Daphne, what do you want to do? The ear-piercing squeal of Sarah McLaughlin is just riveting through your head as the <laughs> animal beckons to be cut down. I am abused. Save me. Save me, horned one. They kept me on a chain and starved me. You know, Are I'm going to die if I keep staying here? Yes. I don't know. Is it really that hard to cut these guys down? Well, Wait, then I have gotten two attack rolls. Oh, you were two. Well, you weren't really attacking. You were just trying to cut it down. So yeah. that's why that's why I had you roll an attack roll. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to attack the rope, yeah, I'll give you two. I'll be more than happy to do that. No, no, no. 
if I could get away with it, I'd pump that song into the stream, but I know. No, 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 no. <laughs> what you want to do when they come for you? I want to save them, but I'm also afraid I'm going to, like, get a ton of damage again. They're already dead. They're not dead. In Tiefling Realm. <laughs> well, they They're animated, like, the so. I grew up with. <laughs> It looks like my pet puppy, Mittens. It looks like, at what? what's her name, Eunice? Mm -hmm. Eunice Monk Slayer's cats. <laughs> the possum does. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do, Daphne? Oh, my God. Are we going to come back this way when we leave? I would assume so, unless there's a better way. All right. I'm going to look him in the eyes and give him a kiss and be like, I'll be back for you. And then I walk away. Walk. walk away? Okay, that's fair. I uh, briefly walk away to catch up with the party. Everybody roll a d12. Let's see if they telepathically try and hit you. Yes! An 11, fuckers! Why? <laughs> Zar? Everybody roll wisdom save! <laughs> Ooh! 20. The cold-hearted Camille... Feels nothing. Ten. I feel everything. <laughs> you and Czar are nice people. Uh, sadly, that was a shit roll. You suffer three hit points of psychic damage as the haunting melody uh, rings within your head. Uh, you, you, all three of you, reach the far end of the log uh, <laughs> room and you find another set of stairs. These stairs are going. Up. Might as right. well. Yeah. Um, might as well. As you reach the top of the stairs, you discover uh, you are in a short hallway. Uh, there is a bronze door to the right, a bronze door straight ahead, and the hallway snakes through. The hallway here, I believe, is standard. It is. Uh, however, the doors are not bronze. My bad. They are bamboo. Mm -hmm. Got holy water on me anytime I need it. Well, do we want to try to open the bamboo doors? I cast May Chan. <laughs> <laughs> Which I fucking should have did to begin with. <laughs> I've learned my lesson from last time, so I'm going to go ahead and try the door with Mage Hand. Actually, you have not, because in the palace, Mage Hand does not work on the doors. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Mage Hand just doesn't apparate? It just... Oh. Okay, so I take my quarterstaff and I poke at the door. <laughs> uh, these doors do open in. The bamboo gives a little bit. Inside uh, the room appears to be the interior of a large tent. A small fire sits in the middle of the dirt floor, and tendrils of smoke rise 20 feet up out of the tent. Essentially, these are teepees. Uh, Several blankets are present that would offer a modicum of comfort to those staying in this room. But there's no one there. Nope, nobody there. Uh, all right, let's go check the other room. Same methodology? Yep. Same results. The hell, man? Is she even in here? Uh, everybody give me perception check. 22. Uh, 28. Daphne? Sorry. We're fine, Carol. Distracted. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sorry, just on a live stream. <laughs> wow. Four. You do not life. notice it, but Zadar and uh, Camille notice uh, if they go around this room, there is a short hallway leading to another set of stairs. Yo, Tiefling, let's go. Hey, what? Where is this voice coming from? 
It's in my head. I've got to stab my ears. It's Sarah McLaughlin. Oh. It's not about the animals. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Are you going up the stairs? Yeah. Oh my God, where these stairs come from? They're just, just everywhere. We're hearing for just pennies a day. That's right. <laughs> They're just everywhere. Uh, as you get to the top of the stairs, uh, mm -hmm. there is a portal painted on the right. The rest of the hallway appears to be frontier. So it's almost like this is a cave entrance and then a long hallway of the what you presume to be the Tolosian tundra. What do you mean, portal? Looks like a cave opening. Hmm. But it's a picture? It's a wild E. Coyote image. Oh. Is there a light at the end of it? <laughs> there is no light. Hmm. But it looks like you could almost step in. I'm worried about a cave bear being in there. <laughs> so if I reach out to touch the wall, what happens? I wrote down what happens. Oh, awesome. <laughs> uh, reaching in. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. So can I cast light? Sure. You have to touch something though, right? Can I touch the wall? Sure. Uh, there's already light in this hallway, though. No, I want to in the tunnel that we can't see. Sure. How far do you want to reach in? Oh, he's just, he's goading Like me. six <laughs> inches. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you cast light, but no light escapes the cave entrance. Oh, well, that's not good. You could stick your head in there. No, no. Nothing bit your hand. No. I don't know. Zadar, what do you think? Hmm. Omen has dark vision, so I summon Omen. <laughs> sure. And send him in, and we lose Daphne. <laughs> yep. She went. She went in. The, she went into she the went cavern. In, yeah. Daphne went in. Ah. Uh, Omen's in there. It he doesn't need dark vision. It's a light. In the cave? In the clan of the cave bear? <laughs> yeah. It's like five, six feet deep. There's an arrow on the floor. Pointing oh. where? Straight ahead. Why not? Sure. <laughs> Unfortunately, do we take the tiefling with us? I mean, yeah, she's coming. She just doesn't know it yet. Yeah. She might have sent you a text. Yeah. So you guys go in? Mm hmm. Uh, you feel yourself sliding down a long rabbit hole. Oh, is this like poltergeist? Kind of. Uh, you come to a gentle glide and come to a small six foot wide opening. Uh, and you can see out the wall, you are, there's a hallway out there. So you can see out, you can't see in. Mm. So we can go to the hallway? If you walk through the portal, you can. Well, what else are we going to do? You walk out the portal and these appear to be rough hewn limestone tunnels again far left there's a bronze door on the right and there's a stairwell right over there or i'm sorry there's a large uh open area that looks like the kitchen Ooh, kitchen maybe there's coffee no you already know what's in there you do mm -hmm. what's in the kitchen the animals three dead animals oh man so we kind of circled around yes yeah, so you uh you scoop down the arm mm, okay I knew this was gonna happen so you started annotate stamp heart 
uh, you were here. Mm -hmm. You slid all the way down, and you're at that level. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, I guess we got to go back. Yeah, are we able to walk back? Into the kitchen? Uh, oh, we need to get back up to the highest point, I assume. Right. I imagine our goal is to get to the head of the Most statue. Most likely. Okay. Um, just, I guess, back up the incline. That doesn't take us through the kitchen. That just takes us... We can't. We're not going to make it. That's a one-way slide. Oh, God. And that's when Daphne died. Oh, no. And all the animals were screaming they died, too, because she wasn't there for them. Daphne, uh, your, was there for them. <laughs> your, your associates dragged you in through the wild E. Coyote cave entrance. Yeah, and it turns out to well. be a slide. You are now just outside the kitchen area where the three hanging animals are at. Looks like you're going to have to go through that area again. Can right. we just both kind of cut them down? No. We have a. We have things to do. And we sprint through the area, I guess. I yes. don't know. Why. You may sprint through the area. Since you are familiar with it, at least you'll have a good idea. Everybody roll your wisdom save again, though, because huh. they're going to get one more crack at you. Zen. 11. Nine. 10. I hate it. 10. All Even three of you <laughs> fail. Uh, six damage uh, psychically as Sarah McLaughlin's haunting rendition sticks in your head and all three animals struggle against the bonds in your mind. Two, free us, free us. You all take six damage and you reach the other side where the stairs are. Again. So even if we would have cut them down, they still would have been screeching, right? <laughs> oh, they they would have been able to move and chase you. <laughs> or become our friends. You guys take the stairs up. Yes. You're back on the TP level. Okay. And Not toilet paper. Native American housing. <laughs> right. Nice. Is there a, um uh there was another door, right? There were two doors that you've investigated. Both were teepees and then the stairs are around the corner. Okay. I'm getting confused. <laughs> this place by, is confusing. by design. So, both TP rooms, there was no other exit out of them. Correct. Right. So, we have to go up the stairs? Mm -hmm. It would appear so. Okay. Yes. And we'll what go happens up the when stairs. we go up the stairs? Mm -hmm. You see the wild E. Coyote uh, cave entrance mm -hmm. and then the long hallway to the left. So the long, long hallway, hallway to the left. Okay. <laughs> uh, there are two doors at the end of this long hallway. Mm -hmm. Both are bronze. Mm. Do they one open is in or out. out. Both open out. Uh, one of uh, everybody, give me insight check. Sixteen. Uh, nine. Not very insightful. Eleven. Just above uh, average. Camille, the first door appears to be... Uh, <laughs> leading to this area. The second door seems to be leading to that area. Well, I want to go to the second one. Okay. Uh... The do you open the door? So, what do the handles look like? Uh, this one is just a straight up uh, bar. You know what? I'm sorry. Uh, this one it has a circle on it, like a pull circle. All right. I've got rope. I thread some rope through there and pull it open. Uh... A wafting aroma of dung <laughs> comes out. Wow. Okay. Okay. So we we've reached the head and there's dung. Well, isn't that uh ammunition? 
As you guys look in, uh, you notice three frontier ponies and a giant goat are in individual stalls. Oh. Looks like a stable. Okay. The goat. I go up and rub the goat's ears. Okay. Um, you got. And I what tell are you him doing, how pretty he is. Zadar and Daphne? Uh, I'll follow Camille. We're all rubbing the goat's ears? Well, I am, and I'm she telling is. him how pretty he is. <laughs> you can rub the horse ears if you want. Goat, mm, yeah. goat pony. Frontier ponies. Oh, sorry. Frontier ponies. ponies. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to, like, touch their mane. Awesome. Everybody roll initiative because nobody said, oh, I'm going to look around. <laughs> Uh, oh, come on. Oh, man, I'm such a novice. <laughs> Eight. Uh, Camille, you notice movement to your left, and a loud screech fills this room. Uh, give me a investigation check. Uh, four. Fair enough. It's an owl bear. <gasps> no. Oh. <laughs> I I know it's uh, I know it's your spirit animal, but it's no. not a full size owl bear. Is it a baby? It's not a baby. It It'd probably it? be an adolescent. Aww. What you want to do? Show him my sick tattoo. <laughs> The not your turn, Ten. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Camille, then the Albear, then the sick tattoo, then Zadar. Um mm, mm. <laughs> I'll cast Ray of Sickness on it. Nice. Aww. That's a save for me, right? I have no idea. Five. Uh, I also rolled a five. Uh, let's see here. Does it take damage or is it disadvantage? Can it we has to. Uh, we have to determine whether or not I have to save or she has to hit me. I th and it'll be up here in just a second. Unless she has it first. Ray of sickness. Uh, on a hit, you didn't hit me. Mm -mm. <laughs> and I would have to make a constitution mm. save. So it is my turn, and I am going to take a swipe. Zadar, nobody likes you. <laughs> uh, 13 plus 5 is 18. Uh, 18 hits. Uh, it has a claw attack. Mm. Oh, 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 react. Shield. <laughs> That's a plus five. <laughs> okay. To my, to my AC. Uh, you are knocked a little bit backwards as the shield takes effect. Sorry, uh, but that's a new ability. So I was like, oh. <laughs> sick tattoo, Daphne, you're up. Me, um, Daphne, I... give me an investigation check. Oh no. Okay. 24. You notice it has leather straps across it, similar to that of a saddle. Oh. You can ride it. Is it the gimp? Yes, it's a gimp. <laughs> it has a face mask it's got with a an mask ashtray a, on it. <laughs> and, a, and a zipper over the mask. That's right. Uh, so this thing... It's tamed. Mm, it's ask Zidar really tamed. it's tamed. It ain't tamed. <laughs> Just because it has a saddle doesn't mean it's broken. Well, it's, it's like what you call in horse world a green horse. You know, like put the saddle on it but like eh, it could be kind of interesting so you can attack or run like hell or you can I, try to talk to it if you want I don't care 
Oh my god, I just want to be friends with Meanwhile, the goat... The goat nor the frontier ponies seem to they don't feel care. that they are in they immediate danger. Us. Did it attack anyone yet? Zadar. Oh. What did it do to Zadar? Z- 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 uh, yeah. What did it do to it, him? It didn't. He used shield oh. as a reaction. Yeah. 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 Well, maybe he was just startled. Maybe you're Is fucking there... with his food. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, is there like food around? Like He's fish? Gonna eat the goat? Something? The goat's eating its straw. No, I meant the owl bear. Is it gonna eat the goat? It's not your turn. Is there any food around besides, like? Yeah, there are bales of hay. So, like, would owl bears eat that? Oh, owl bears eat anything. <laughs> but. Preferably, I mean, anything like us. <laughs> I doubt they'll eat. Likes hay. meat. It's it not vegan. Yeah, yeah, I it's, know. It's definitely Is not there, vegan. Like, rodents, like mice or something around. It's That'd just a goat on a horse. He wants it's three three frontier ponies and a giant goat. He wants a he wants big protein. He's We're an adolescent. They goat? eat a lot. Is that what you want to give it? The goat. No. <laughs> I'm just saying that's probably what he wants to eat. Mm. But he's tethered down with his saddle. Mm-hmm. Well, it's saddled. We don't know if it's tethered. It would have eight dollar animals if it wasn't, right? Mm. I don't want to give him any of the animals. <laughs> From a safe distance, I can give him some hay. So you Go throw hay or... at the owl bear in front of him, not at him, or to okay. the side of him. Like I so, you're you're, you're taking like a bushel of hay and throwing yeah. it in the way. Here, here, boy. I like here. to take a peek of hay, so it's usually like you know, like uh, if I can do my hands right, like this thick, you know, where yeah. make sure like you a leave brick like this. So it can't give him, right. give him like you know throw like a frisbee. I don't know. Like, uh, Zadar, give me an investigation check. Now this goes. <laughs> uh, fourteen. You also see the leather straps. Uh, do I see anybody on top of the bear riding it? <laughs> You getting on top of him? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> this time I'm not a druid. Ah. <laughs> so whose turn is it? Yours. Mine? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm uh, disengaging. Right, we need okay. to get the hell out. Mm-hmm. Okay, disengage, top of the order, Camille. Twelve. Are you trying to hit it? No, I'm trying to get the hell out. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Attack of opportunity. Not with a six. Uh, Daphne, you're alone in the stables with three frontier ponies, a giant goat, and an owlbear. And a rabbi. I think there's a rabbi. (laughs) I love you. Uh, Camille and Zadar have... I guess I leave as well after oh. them. I, I'd recommend it. <laughs> yeah. Does a 15 hit you? No. Uh, the owlbear takes a swipe at you just as you leave. Uh, shut the door or leave it open? Shut, shut the, the door. door. Okay. Everything, everything looks clear. <laughs> nope. Not coming out. Okay, there's a there's another door, right? There's another door, and its handle looks like a handshake. Okay, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. uh, anybody got a healing potion just in case, or anybody heal Daphne? You're a damn paladin. Daphne. Can you heal? 
<laughs> no, yeah. I... Okay, just stand by. <laughs> if I start I doing death push... saves, if I start doing death saves, just stand by. Okay, so I walk up. And do, you, I use... do you want her to heal you first? <sighs> I mean, how much healing can she do? I have the lay on hand. Yeah, I'll lay on hands for... Uh, whatever her level is, right? Yeah. I can heal up to 25 HP. Yeah. Okay. Um. And she can mitigate that. So if you only need 10, she can give you 10. Okay. Um. Yeah. I need the wallpaper, for lack of a better term, is the undulating frontier grass. I, um, yeah, if you want to hit me for 10 points, that'll bring me up pretty high. <laughs> is this Gladiator? It is Gladiator. He's just feeling the weed. Yeah, he's an Elysium <laughs> heading towards the door. Can I do Divine Sense? Am I allowed to just do that? Sure. Are you going to heal him first or just say fuck him and do Divine Does Sense? Do you want the heals because he seems like he doesn't want any? I, I said, yeah. <laughs> he oh, said he'd take 10. Oh, 10? Mm hmm. Okay. Wow. Sure. Cool. What's your divine sense want to know? It's uh, detecting if there's anything there. Divine stuff there? Demonic it's stuff as, there? As an action, you can detect good and evil. Uh, there is no good. There is no evil. Uh, there's nothing? There's only the door. <laughs> Within in, 60 in feet, it could be celestial feet undead. Yeah. Nope. Nothing. Nothing behind it. Well, none of those things. Mm -hmm. There's always something behind a door. All right. Who wants to grab the door handle and shake hands? You think they're fiends, right? Uh, no fiends. No I'll take it. I'll, I'll, I'll try it. Tom Selleck is doing it. Yeah. <laughs> it clamps down. Give me a DC 18 versus grapple strength, not dex. Okay. Uh, uh, what is the DC again? 18. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> 11. It has a grip on you, and the door swings open, revealing a lavish bedroom. Fine silks and plush pillows adorn a spacious room with a sunken area in the center. It is home to a round velvet bed. A gorgeous woman in revealing lingerie who sits up and demands to know who the party is and will also target odd Camille, even Daphne. Um, Three. Camille, give me a save. 15 versus charisma. Um, is she speaking confluent common or broken common? Just common for those words. 19. Uh, you are not charmed by her innate beauty, but you can tell she attempted to charm you. Uh, she is a, uh, we'll say for lack of a better term, she is Jasmine. Uh, she wears a jeweled necklace and produces oh, figures it would be so a small dagger. Um, well, she's she's not Jasmine in the fact that she's Middle Eastern. She's you know what? She's Boudica. That's who she looks no, like. No, no, it's Jasmine because you want to you know. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, uh, she's Boudica, and she pulls forth a dagger to defend herself. Um, Hello, I do not want to hurt you. Everybody, roll initiative for me, please. No. Twenty. Uh, 10. 21. Uh, Daphne, you're up first. Zadar is gripped. Fortunately, he didn't use anything but his hand. Uh, she has pulled forth a dagger and demands to know who you are. I guess we just tell her who we are. We're here to, like, save you? Yes. Persuade me. Why would she not be persuaded by that? 16? She was, she was sleeping. Uh, Zadar or uh, Camille mm -hmm. uh, 
Hepna pauses and considers things. Uh, she has not gone yet. What would you like to say or do? I understand that you've been startled, but things have not gone as your people have wanted, and we are here to try to remedy that. Fair enough. Zadar, try and break the grip. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Oh, God. Oh! <laughs> uh, the hand twists, dropping you down to one knee. Uh, <laughs> Daphne, your persuasion was good enough. Hempta waves her hand. Zidar, you are free. Oh, thank you. Why... Why why are you here to save me? I'm not in any danger. Um the water. Water? Mm -hmm. I would no, I was on a boat. Her comment is fluent, by the way. Uh I say the statue was knocked from the boat. We're about I hope somebody was beheaded for that. Well they yes, were. someone died. <laughs> someone did die. <laughs> Just letting you know. Out of my way, let us go see for myself. Okay. Uh, she walks with a very regal bearing uh, and heads right for the cave exit. Do you follow? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> as you follow, I don't know. <laughs> as you follow, the high grasses, mm -hmm. uh, birds swoop down and follow in her wake, singing a nice tune. Oh, oh okay. This is going to become a Disney tune. I love sure. Yeah, so we have like Princess Jasmine mixed with like Snow White right now. Boudica. Yeah. Prin Princess no, Boudica. because Frank loves Jasmine. Oh, uh, I do love Jasmine. Really? I, he almost yes. but I have to tell you the Disney. Jasmine story. <laughs> I, I, I have almost been ejected from Disney on several occasions for my uh adoration shall we say uh, not to mention my associates throwing me under the bus and saying i was a child molester but i got Which, you there that's true you did get me there uh tip On for those who no less tip for those who go to disney uh don't make pedophilia jokes that's not funny <laughs> and that's what you get for taking hooligans on your honeymoon that, well no that that was a prior visit with co-workers oh okay yeah, they're funny. <laughs> I nearly got arrested. Uh, so, uh, Princess Boudica heads into the cave and whoop, disappears. What the hell? She's on a mission, man. She, she bamfed us. She's huh? not going to take us? Do you want to go in? Yeah. Sure, we follow. Yeah. Boom! Uh, each one of you follow her. Each one of you find yourself in the stone quarry. She is already headed to the doorway. Or the stairwell, rather. The stairwell we, down? We, yep. She is just stomping her way. She the water? is pissed. No, she's headed towards the parlor with the high grasses. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Stay on her heels. Let's. Yeah. She goes down the stairs, out the tree door, uh, the high grasses, the shag carpeting mm -hmm. parts for her. Uh, she waves, uh, and then the clouds form an image of her. Hmm wafting by. It appears as though she controls everything going on in this magical manifestation. Well, of uh, as she walks through the hall of pictures, uh, she shouts to her friends. Uh, there is no reaction. Um, she's just fucking focused. Uh, she goes back in to the main hallway where the mirrors are, uh, grabs an item. It is a circular item looks like a whammo frisbee without the center uh <laughs> and the two demonic statues have reappeared uh guarding the door those assholes she walks right past can you guys hear me yes mm -hmm. yes okay. something yes. changed here uh she walks right past them opens up the bronze door heads down the marble stairs uh she's gonna walk out that door no <laughs> i beg your pardon we are under the water, madam. You were tossed off the boat. So we are submerged. Yes. We are submerged underwater. And how do you expect to get me back out of the water? 
Uh, is there a way that this can shrink down to statue size if we leave and take you with us? She produces a key hidden behind the necklace that she wears. This controls the palace. We would take um, that and shrink you down and get you back on the boat so that you may be with your people. You want me to give you, <laughs> the person I just met, the key to my palace to shrink me and trust that you are going to return me to my people. We've we were hired to find <laughs> your people hired long. us to find you and to save you. Yeah, Talusa, whatever. Oh, I certainly is. believe you since I just met you. Who wants to roll the persuasion on the princess? Uh, Zadar will try it. Yeah. Sure, you've had great roles so Tom far. Selleck, why not? Why not? So, uh, 15. No. Aw. Uh, I will, however, give my key to... Me. Daphne. Uh, but you, Tom Selleck, will stay with me as collateral. <laughs> I have this. And I open up exposing the, the, the chest here. Nice. Of course. <laughs> so Daphne you can take the key uh, tap it on the door lock shrink the item you and Camille can go swimming back up if your potions of water breathing have given you an hour uh, with Zidar and uh, Hempta the seductive contained within the small statue okay. that works yeah Fair enough. Uh, she slightly strokes his chin. Mm. Here you go, young lady. Hands you the key. She tells you to tap the outside door. Why didn't I get the key? Dice giveth, <laughs> dice taketh away. Whatever. Uh, it was a five. So mm -hmm. uh, she is standing in the antechamber. Okay. Does she need to like leave if we're gonna open that door? No, she's holding me oh. as collateral. <laughs> uh, you know, since it's been right around an hour, uh, that yeah, that chamber is gonna flood. We need to go. We yeah. Need to go. So you gonna open up the door and go out? I mean, we have to, right? But like. She's just going to stand there and get flooded? She has no idea what the fuck's going to happen. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're screw it. Yeah, I'd be like, we're going to open the door and water's going to come in if we're going to stay here. That's I right. do not wish to get wet. Well, then, then get the fuck up. Yeah. Oh, well, that's diplomatic. <laughs> uh, Zadar, are you going to go ahead and take her into the hallway of mirrors? Yes, I say. Uh, I think he can do that. Have to. <laughs> I'll hey, offer her my arm and we'll see walk my on junk. up. <laughs> Uh, she's not going to be impressed with his junk. Why not? You know, uh, you know why not? Because why not? Because Mister, <laughs> that's what's right, his the, name up the there? human stallion up there. Okay, maybe his tongue is really impressive. That's that's possible. Uh, so Daphne, I am a changeling. I can make things grow. There. Mm -hmm. You can't be larger than a medium creature, though. Uh, Daphne, <laughs> she retreats back into the Hall of Mirrors. You ready to open the door? Yeah. D12 against me as you open the door. Let's see if that potion of healing or potion of water breathing is good for you. Five. I can't. We Four. Can't see that. Yay! Uh, you step outside. You can still breathe the water. The water rushes in. Uh, Camille, your potion is also there. <laughs> Bless you. So yeah. you can also breathe out. Daphne, what do you want to do now that you're outside? Touch the thing to shrink it. Okay. Uh, My you, magical power is shrinking things. Make sure you, you close the door. You do, and you notice that the door is still open. Yee! Ah. Close the door. Close, close the, the door. door. Give me a dexterity check. Uh. See if your your thick sausage-like fingers can close that tiny door now. Um, 
21. Really tiny hooker. That happens when you're gay. You can feel the tiny little nubs. <laughs> That's the door. Blake would disagree. Uh, and the the statue still retains the exact semblance of Hempta. Uh, so but it's it, tiny though, right? It's tiny okay. now. So who wants to carry it up? Um, I will, right? Uh, you get to the top of the water line 50 feet up and you... <clears throat> You uh, start to feel as though you are drowning. Give me a d20 to see if you can hang on to the statue. Oh my Plus. god. I'm just allergic to life right now. 19. Rolling real good now. Uh, you reach up. You grab a hold of the netting. You still have the Heisman tucked underneath your arm. Uh, Camille, you are not encumbered, so you are able to grab the netting. You two climb up the side. Uh, they're awaiting you are the barbarians. They see the statue. Where is my boyfriend? Oh, he's right there. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Rearranges his shirt a little bit. Gets that that barbarian pelt going. Mm -hmm. uh, Has cheesy lines from Aladdin. Pick up yeah. line, apparently. Yep. Now, here is the problem. How are you going to get Zadar out? <laughs> make it big? It on land? Do we need to? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that boat's not going to hold that statue. <laughs> so do you want to tap the door and pray that it doesn't increase in size? Well, no, 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 no. I want to bring back. it on land Can first. we take it to land? Yeah. Uh, the barbarians are more than happy to get into the boat with you. Well, we have to tell them to get your deity out. We need to get to land. Mm -hmm. Some form of land. Deity? Hep Me. Hempta. Hempta? Yes. Land. Hempta out. Hempta on land. Hempta out now. No. Hempta out now. No. <laughs> Persuade her. Oh my God. It's Persuade her. her. Oh, her. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Eighteen. Uh, they pile into the boat recklessly again. Uh, <laughs> Daphne, do you want to get in the boat? Still holding the statue. Oh, it's like that big? I thought it would be small and I'd like have it tucked in my boobs. It's a foot. Your boobs aren't that big. <laughs> Maybe if you were a uh, Goliath. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I guess I have to get in the boat, don't I? What am I doing? To, to, get, the, right to get the thing to shore, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the barbarians are none too happy again, uh, but they are uh, interested in getting Hempna back. Uh, and they steer you. Uh, let's see how bad it is when they all leap out oh, onto the docks. God, not again. Daphne and uh, Camille, dexterity rolls, please. Should we tell them, like, wait? We gotta get the statue on. <laughs> they ain't gonna wait. Ten. Oh. They, they have a fear of the water. Oh my god! Five! <laughs> into the water goes Daphne and the statue. Uh, the statue has been dried off and now forms a 40-foot entrance right next to the dock. But it's like uh, more shallowed water, right? Yes. So now there's 30 feet of statue up uh, and you have successfully destroyed one of the docks. Zadar and Hepta walk out, out and look around. Do they look happy? They're happy. Peter Moran is not happy. Oh, you, have destroyed you just destroyed a, a dock. dock. <laughs> oh, whatever. It can be rebuilt. Bigger, stronger, faster. Six million dollar man. Uh, you guys have successfully retrieved their diplomat, not their deity. 
Uh, the barbarians are happy, especially Grand. Uh, <laughs> Peter Moran is not happy at <laughs> all. He has way too much traffic. Uh, uh, this that, is your fault for calling us here. That we'll, is, have, we'll have to talk to Fomundo. <laughs> there, there's going to be a considerable charge for this. However, you have successfully gotten the job done. You guys will have advantage anytime you deal uh, with the barbarians. You will also have a very decent familiarity with the Talosian landscape because you've seen the pictures. And what about so my boyfriend? Your boyfriend is going to break you in half. <laughs> that wasn't what I was looking for, but okay. It's a leg. Uh -huh. <laughs> they don't call him peg leg pita for nothing. Are these, are these like Goliath size? No, they're or? just large human. They're Conans. Oh, okay. Uh, Daphne, final thoughts. Um, my Daphne needs to take a long rest. <laughs> and I want like a magical cast so I can shrink and grow big. Uh, the uh, Petrix pa palaces are very rare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like truly a mobile home. Hey, and kind of like a bag of holding. Sure, Kid Rock. Plus, <laughs> plus it's in the shape of a woman. There a you go. Wide. Caitlin's living in the double wide, the magical double wide. <laughs> there we go. Where I could just keep <laughs> pumping out kids, and then they just disappear. Got the GTO. I got PDR in one hand and GDR in the wow. other. I got the G GTO on cinder blocks. So I'm going to get Camaro. to that eventually. You got the Camaro. No, no, no. And you, you got go. a refrigerator sitting in the lot next to you, still with the uh, door in it. Uh, Zadar, <laughs> what'd you think? I liked it. I liked it. So hopefully me and Hep that got acquainted. Yeah. <laughs> uh, give me a charisma roll. Okay. Uh, she doesn't like you. After Mortimer J. Sneed. Uh, <laughs> nice. Okay. She rolled a three. She is not interested in you. Seven. You, seven. You aren't that interested okay. in her. Yeah. Okay. She has a. She has a bit of a smell about her. Gorgeous, oh. but yeah, she smells. Uh, Camille, what'd you think? It was fun. I liked it. There you go. Now you know I'm gonna take shit from Kyle because we went over, but. By uh, seven minutes. minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Didn't, seven. didn't have much of a choice. Uh, folks, we hope you had a good time. Uh, these guys did, and that's what's important. Follow <laughs> us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to buy our stuff or chat D&D. Those links are down there. Most importantly, if you want to be on the talk show or the one shot, Saturday, mm -hmm. M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. Seriously, we do have a spot or two open for Saturday. Yes. So if you want two hours of fun, uh, hit us up. Uh, thanks, Pyro Dog Dice, for giving us dice that almost killed Zadar tonight. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> don't forget, if you want to play uh, How to RPG with your cat, check out our Twitter feed for the link. It is free. You just have to sign up. Uh, that is, uh, I believe it's a Sunday, November the 8th, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a good time. Uh, so take a look at it. Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., uh, Vote. Don't forget yeah, to vote. vote. Wear your mask voted. for God's sake uh, and wash your hands. Uh, we will see you folks on Saturday, hopefully. Everybody wave and let the producer Bye -bye. Flash Camille take us home. Wave. I'm waving. We transition. <laughs> and you're muted. <laughs>